Today we're going over the first episode, and here we go. Serenity was the first two-hour pilot episode for Firefly the TV series. Its first air date was December 20th, 2002. Although it is the pilot episode, it was not the first aired. Sergeant Malcolm Mal Reynolds, Zoe, and several fellow soldiers are part of an attempt to prevent Alliance forces from taking Serenity Valley. Mal sends a squadron up to high ground while he, Zoe, and another soldier, Bendis, attempt to capture an Alliance anti-aircraft gun in order to take out an airborne skiff that's preventing reinforcements from arriving. Despite Bendis suffering from shell shock, Zoe is able to provide the cover fire Mal needs, and he succeeds in commandeering the weapon and shooting down the skiff. However, the air support that they need to get out of the valley does not arrive. Instead, the Alliance has taken the valley, and the rebels are ordered by their commander to surrender. Six years later, Mel is captain of his own transport ship, the Firefly class Serenity, and Zoe is his second in command. He, Zoe, and Jane are attempting to melt open the hatch of an abandoned wreck of a carrier in space. Wash is on Serenity in the pilot station, keeping watch as he detects a Tohoku class cruiser, the IAV Dormender, approaching them and the wreck. He contacts Mel to tell him to cut all power on Serenity to escape detection. Wash tells the ship's engineer Kaylee to shut everything down. The cruiser detects some residual heat from Serenity, and they actively begin scanning. Caught in the act, the Serenity crew double times loading the cargo, while the cruiser deploys gunships to stop them. Mal and Wash engage the Crybaby, a decoy's distress beacon whose transmission is mistaken by the Dormander to be another ship in trouble. Mal gets his team and cargo on board and signals Wash who turns Serenity away from the cruiser and speeds away. The cruiser halts deployment of the gunships so that it can go help the other ship, but does put out a bulletin that a Firefly-class ship is carrying stolen Alliance goods. Inspecting the cargo, Mal seems troubled by the fact that the cargo, which contains hundreds of unidentified bars, are stamped by the Alliance. The crew starts hiding the cargo as Mel has Zoe contact Badger, their fence on Persephone, that the job is done. Zoe and Wash leave for the bridge. Mal announces that they will be taking on passengers on Persephone before heading to Boros. Mal asks if Inara has checked in, and when he is told she hasn't, he asks them to let her know that a speedy departure from Persephone might be needed. Inara finishes up her session with an unworldly young Alliance officer who awkwardly offers to rescue her from her lifestyle. After he leaves, Inara contacts Serenity and is instructed to meet at the Eve's Down docks. Serenity lands on Persephone, and the various crew members split up. Kaylee stays around to find passengers, Wash takes Serenity's utility vehicle to get supplies, and Mal, Zoe, and Jane go to speak to Badger. Badger is not happy that Mal's team got caught in the salvage operation, even though they weren't identified. Because the cargo is molecularly stamped and can be traced, he refuses to take the cargo or pay for it, much to the anger of Serenity's crew. Guns are drawn, but Badger's men outnumber Serenity's crew, and after Badger smugly insults Mal, the crew are forced to leave empty-handed. A pious religious man named Shepard Book encounters Kaylee, who notices that he's looking at the ships and not their destinations. He tells her that he's a shepherd from the South Down Abbey, and been there for a while, and he decides that it's time for him to be in the world. He got a little bit of money, but he also has something in a small box, which he shows her, which seems to impress her. Mal and company discuss how to unload their cargo while returning to Serenity. Despite being shot by her in the past, Mal decides to try selling to a woman named Patience on a terraformed moon called Whitefall, despite Zoe's objections. As the crew all arrive at Serenity, new passengers are coming on board, including a man named Dobson and a wealthy doctor named Simon. Zoe is not happy about having a bunch of passengers sitting on top of their stolen goods, but Mal quietly laughs it off. Anara arrives in her shuttle, and the crew and passengers prepare to take off. In flight, Mal, Kaylee, and Zoe lay out the ground rules. Mal, who appears to be anti-religious, 
learns that Book is the shepherd, but Kaylee assures everyone that that's not a problem. Wash arrives and Mal covers up the illicit nature of their impending transaction by telling the passengers that the ship's been ordered by the Alliance to take some medical supplies to Whitefall, the fourth moon of Athens, so they'll be going there before heading off to Boros. In the cargo bay, Anara exits her shuttle and Mal introduces her to Book, referring to her somewhat half-seriously as an ambassador. Book takes this literally, which Mal finds amusing. When Mal explains that she is a whore, Kaylee corrects him that the term is companion. Mal goes on to explain that in some ways a companion is an ambassador, since her respectable and high-class presence causes doors to open that would otherwise be closed. Companions, it seems, have more in common with the geisha or courtesans than street hookers. Mal baits Book a little more before Inara politely returns to her shuttle. Kaylee starts making dinner and we see that Book's box contains ripe strawberries, one of Kaylee's favorites. Later, the passengers and most of the crew settle down to dinner, including fresh vegetables donated by Shepherd Book. Zoe taking a plate to wash on the bridge. Book asks if anyone minds that he says grace, and Mal replies only if you say it out loud. After a silent grace, joined by most of the crew, Simon asks if the Alliance often commandeers serenity, and the passengers and crew talk about the political climate and physical difficulties of the border worlds. Kaylee seems to be taken by Simon, which amuses Jane, who makes several rude comments in that regard. Mal reacts by ordering him out of the dining area, although not without a protest from Jane. Anara is in her shuttle, giving herself a sponge bath when Book arrives with some supper. He's a little embarrassed and Anara covers up, expecting a sermon on her wickedness. He puts her at ease with a slightly self-deprecating humor, and they move on to discussing the mysteries that is Malcolm Reynolds. Meanwhile, Wash summons Mal to the bridge. Arriving on the bridge, Wash tells Mal that someone on board sent a message to a Tohoku class cruiser. He scrambled it as best he could, but still there's a mole on the ship. Instantly thinking Simon is the mole, Mal finds him in the cargo bay, inspecting a large high-tech crate and punches him, then confronts him at gunpoint, accusing him of being a fed or a member of the Alliance. Book appears and points out to Mal that Dobson is on the catwalk, pointing a gun at Mal and Simon. Dobson informs Simon that he is bound by the law, the customary statement made when Alliance authorities arrest someone. Apparently, Simon is wanted by the Alliance for something. Moreover, he plans on persecuting the crew for transporting a fugitive across interplanetary borders, and isn't convinced that they are actually carrying medical supplies. Mal urges Simon to stand down while Book tries to calm everyone down. Kaylee and Jane suddenly enter, and the jumpy Dobson reacts by shooting Kaylee in the stomach. Mal and Book overpower Dobson, and Simon goes to Kaylee's side to look after her wound. Jane makes to shoot Dobson, but Book refuses to let him do so. Zoe appears and orders Jane to tie up Dobson. Mal intends to hand Simon over to the Tohoku class cruiser, but Simon threatens not to treat Kaylee if he does so, and tells Mal to flee. After a tense moment, Mal reluctantly agrees. Simon works on Kaylee in the infirmary, removing the bullet fragments, but tells Mal that only time will tell if she will fully heal. Curious as to why the Alliance wanted Simon, Mal goes to the cargo bay and opens Simon's crate while Jane restrains Simon and finds a young nude girl inside. Mal assumes that she is a slave, but after the girl gains consciousness and starts screaming, Simon goes to her to calm her down, explaining to the others that the girl is River Tam, his sister. Later, he fully explains that she was born with a gifted intellect in diverse fields such as physics and dance, dwarfing his own talents, and that she was sent to an Alliance-funded academy where she was subjected to some unspecified experiments. Simon rescued her from the Alliance's clutches and is on the run trying to protect her from them. Mal tells Simon that he is leaving him and his sister at Whitefall, but that if Kaylee won't survive, he'll get off a mite sooner. Anara tells Mal that if he expels Simon and River from the ship, that she'll leave too. Mal decides to proceed with the stolen goods sale to Patience on Whitefall. Jane interrogates Dobson to find out how much he was able to tell the Alliance about them, and their destination before his transmission was cut. Dobson offers a bribe to Jane 
telling him that the Alliance will give him enough money for him to buy his own ship if he releases him. He also told Jane that his first name is Lawrence. Wash and Mel observe an old trans-U approaching, and they realize it is a Reaver raiding party. Zoe explains to Simon that if the Reavers, whom Simon has only heard about in apocryphal stories, aboard the ship that everyone on Serenity will be raped to death, cannibalized, and have their skin sewn into the insides of the Reaver clothing. And if they're very lucky, they'll do it in that order. Luckily, the Reaver ship passes by. In her shuttle, Anara gives Simon some of her immunization packs. Simon apologizes for his part in the current situation. Anara explains that he fits in with the rest of the crew. Mal arrives, and when Anara tells him that he's on the shuttle, Mal points out that she is merely renting the shuttle from him. She replies that he can enter it at will when she falls behind on her rent. On the bridge, Mal and Patience explain some pleasantries over the comm as their exchange looms but Mal thinks she's planning to shoot him again. Meanwhile, Dobson is cutting through his bindings. Serenity lands on Whitefall. Mal and Zoe walk out into the valley to meet Patience and her henchmen, but not before Mal sends Jane to take out any potential snipers. Mal gives Patience a sample of the cargo, which turns out to be nutritional immunization bars. Each one can feed an entire family for a month or longer if they don't like their kids too much. Patience attempts to renege on the deal, but Jane, Mal, and Zoe dispatch Patience and her gang, taking the money that they were promised. Although one of Patience's men shot Mal's arm, ripping a hole on his coat sleeve. Jane then arrives, having been contacted by Wash with bad news. The Reavers had followed them to Whitefall. When Book goes to see Dobson, Dobson attacks Book, knocking him out, then hitting him a few more times out of anger. He goes to the infirmary and grabs River, but is discovered by Simon, who jumps from the catwalk over the cargo bay. After a brief struggle, Dobson gets a hold of the gun and points it at River, but Mal arrives without breaking stride and shoots Dobson. They dump him off the ship as they prepare to leave. The Reaver is on their tail. Mal orders the passengers to Anara's shuttle as Jane carries the still convalescing Kaylee to the engine room. With Book carrying out Kaylee's instructions and Wash's superb flying, Serenity pulls a crazy Ivan maneuver, enveloping the Reaver's ship in a fireball, igniting it by their own exhaust, allowing them to escape. Book goes to Anara and, in essence, tearfully confesses that he's terribly lost and might be on the wrong ship. Anara thinks he's exactly where he ought to be. Back in the passenger's quarters, Simon tucks River in and says that they will find a safe place to live soon. River gently caresses her brother's face and says uncertainly, I didn't think you'd come for me, alluding to her being in the academy. Simon quips back affectionately, well, you're a dummy. The two then share a much relieved hug, properly reuniting at last, after nearly three years apart. On the bridge, Jane tells Mal that River is in danger, and that Dobson had told him that the Alliance will keep after her. Mal asks if Dobson tried to bribe him, to which Jane lets him know it wasn't enough of a bribe, and that that'll be an interesting day if the bribe is ever big enough. Jane leaves as Simon enters. Mal suggests to Simon that he and River might be safer on the move than hiding in one place, and points out that Serenity is always moving and in need of a medic. Simon accepts his offer. 